ओके वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज रिलेटेड टू एस सी आई एंड टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट कॉग्नेटिव आर्किटेक्चर ओके ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दिस आर्किटेक्चर बट वी विल रिपीट हियर एंड हियर इज द रिसोर्स फॉर दिस कॉग्नेटिव आर्किटेक्चर ओके फ्रॉम विच आई विल यूज आई एम यूजिंग दिस मटेरियल फॉर योर लेक्चर ओके so let's start with cognitive architecture okay so first we uh, uh, we go for first introduction then model human processor first and model human processor second okay so lecture will be uh, uh, lengthy but uh, i will i i will try to sort it okay so start with cognitive architecture okay so here you can see वन मिनट हंड्रेड परसेंट और एटी फाइव ओके ठीक है सो हियर इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव देर आर थ्री कंपोनेंट्स इन एच आई ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर एंड इंट्रेक्शन सो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट दिस थ्री कंपोनेंट्स हियर ओके एंड हियर अमोंग इज ह्यूमन इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एच सी आई ओके एंड डिजाइन शुड टेक इन टू अकाउंट अकॉर्डिंग टू ह्यूमन ओके सो ह्यूमन इज ऑल्सो ए सेंटर पार्ट और Uh, participatory design approaches according to you, uh, human that is the user okay so actually uh, the human is interacted with computer and the interactions uh, method will be used for interactions like we uh, we can see like a keyboard and uh, mouse okay so we will study about this type of design is and uh, designs and some uh, you can say cognitive approaches to identify those uh, methods or idea behind that design okay so next is objective okay so in uh, already we have studied about uh, model based approaches okay in previous lectures okay to reduce design time and efforts so in uh, here uh, Uh, already we know about individual model of human factors are taken into account like fitts law okay and already uh, we have gone through the gomes a simple model of human behavior okay then human behavior is very complex and we need more complex approaches taking into account different components of human behavior okay and such complexities are sought to be captured in integrated cognitive architecture ca okay which are found to be very useful in sci okay so we will learn here uh, we shall learn here about the ca and its application uh, in sci so first human user okay so user can be viewed as an information processing system and informations for input and output like here input visual auditory haptic okay and then for output movement and motor actions okay so information stored in memory sensory short term or long term three types of memory and the information taken as input and stored are processed and applied in various ways like reasoning problem solving skills and error finding and also emotion uh, influences human capabilities okay these emotions affects the human uh, processing then message so we want to model uh, these activities of human information processor hip in short okay so hip model can uh, like uh, validate understanding of ourselves and inform the design of better user interface and then third develop robust automated design approaches uh, in uh, ai field okay so hip model there are broadly two approaches to model hip okay so first is computational hip model using computer metaphors okay then second is connectionist biological metaphor to model hip here hip as a neural networks for uh, ai research or ai development okay so uh, basically human is a important part of ai research artificial intelligence research okay so here is the focus related to computational approaches okay so computational hip models can be of two types so first is production system the informational processing behavior uh, is implemented as a set of productions if then else rules okay and non production systems second one 
so here is the ca okay so overall the process is going through this ca so cognitive architecture ca and ca a broad theory of human cognition based on a wide selection of human experimental data and implemented as a running computer simulation program okay and uh, essentially uh, cas are computational hip models taking into account all the components of cognition uh, human related okay so cognition uh, are used for development okay so there are many cas developed most of them are production system with few non production systems and here is the example ca developed uh, as a production system like model human processor soar epic act rpm okay these are the example related to uh, these models okay and the example of non production ca is like integrated cognitive subsystems so we will study here about this ca now what is the relationship between ca and si so ca are relevant to usability okay they are provide an engineering perspective to usability analysis and can be used to develop sci related applications and can serve an important role in sci as a theoretical science okay and ca as usability engineering tool so basically it is used for usability so engineering where requires quantitative predictions help compare alternative designs and identify design problems again qualitative quantitative guidelines may not be sufficient to compare these two nearly equally good designs so uh need some theory model to compute certain parameters of design to compare them then usability engineering involves similar uh, situations okay and uh, mostly the designs models are uh, similar okay so every design must be subjected to usability test okay so usability engineering expert mostly rely on intuitions experience guidelines to do that work here is the example so intuitions may say interface x is faster than y but how much okay that is the question so it may be 10% or 20% okay so such quantitative data is required as small savings in execution times may results in large financial savings okay and again requires quantitative predictions theories okay for this usability engineering and again computational models based on ca can provide such quantitative answers okay using this uh, 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 ca models uh, we can uh, identify the quantitative answers okay the model can predict more uh, many useful quantities uh, like uh, execution time error rate uh, transfer of knowledge okay so these are important uh, for modeling the ca okay computational models then again uh, computational models based on ca can provide uh, another quantitative answers like here uh, models can predict many useful quantities like learning rates memory loads many more performance measures okay then results may not be accurate but sufficient for comparisons because uh, because there are uh, similar models okay similar designs may be slightly similar okay and model based on ca can be employed for evolutions in situations where traditional usability evolution may be very costly or even impossible so here is the example related to this uh, evolution involving fighter pilots or astronauts so one is uh, simple uh, or uh, cheaper but uh, another is costly next ca based uh, models can realistically mimic the human okay acts as uh, surrogate users okay it's imitates uh, co not completely human but it's mimics like the human and gomes cognitive walk through okay can also provide uh, quantitative predictions and they are abstract abstracted from some underlying architectures related to ca and then ca based model can predict much more okay so some ca applications here uh, by definition cas are executables making them suitable for several sci relevant applications first one is intelligent tutoring systems okay so the example is list <coughs> tutoring systems developed by andersons 1989 okay and then <coughs> uh, 
uh, again uh, the po uh, it is used for populating simulated world situations like uh, training fighter jets uh, or fighter pilots sorry training fighter pilots okay and then second multi party games okay uh, more used in gaming and then virtual reality already you know uh, these research are already uh, going on uh, in uh, early uh, 60s 70s or 80s okay but nowadays uh, we see that um, uh, after this uh, machine learning and uh, data science uh, these uh, research are uh, practically uh, uh, you can say more uh, improved and developed okay and more games are developed more virtual reality related tools are developed okay so this ca is important for ai again some issues related to ca uh, like here you can see many aspect of human behavior are yet to be accounted for because uh, uh, ca is not completely mimic the human okay it's sim slightly uh, basically mimic uh, basic operations are mimic uh, for a human uh, as per the human okay so uh, the issues related to the ca is first error behavior so it is difficult to mimic such behaviors uh, which sometimes is required to evaluate usability okay again it depends on uh, decision making also okay so uh, then uh, next is emotion okay so emotion so recently some promising works are being done but uh, yet uh, completely uh, not uh, re uh, developed uh, ca models for the emotions human emotions okay but slightly uh, they uh, machines can understand or model can understand uh, the uh, right and wrong okay then like alexa okay so the next issue is related to simulated agents usually interact with an interface using a specification of the system so here is an example like uh, an active research area is not uh, is to enable simulated agents access interfaces in may, uh, ways that approximate the richness and limitations of human perceptual motor capabilities okay so we will see uh, two uh, different uh, human processes okay in next lectures uh, sorry in, in continuous with this lecture okay so at present uh, understanding and implementing ca requires specializations okay so usability of ca uh, specification languages uh, needs improvement okay so more improvement needed uh, to uh, expertise in this uh, ca models okay designing this ca models so these are the issue related to ca okay and then uh, next we learn about uh, the model human processor mhp okay a production system as a case study related to this cognitive uh, analysis sorry <coughs> ca so cognitive architecture okay so we will go to the next slide so here is the so we will go for the case study related to human processor okay so here is the objectives okay already we know about the basics of ca use and application and issues and here we learn about the ca with the help of mhp model human processor okay so mhp it contains three interactive system perceptual cognitive and motor systems okay and for some uh, task uh, system operate in serial pressing a key in response to a uh, stimulus and for other task system operates in parallel driving taking uh, talking to passenger and listening to radio okay and each system has its own memory and processor with characteristics okay memory storage capacities uh, decay time processor cycle time includes access time okay these are the uh, important characteristics related to this uh, mhp okay it has the own memory but the storage capacity in decay time is important okay and for processor cycle time is important and each system guided by principle of operations so there are 10 such principles in total then mhp uh, here you can see schematic diagram okay so long term memory okay and working memory so visual store auditory store so here you can uh, think like the human uh, 
you can say human model okay because human have memory okay they have visual uh, tools eyes like okay and then auditory for uh, ear okay and for talking uh, the mouth okay lips okay and tongue used for uh, talking okay so here you can see eyes and ears for perceptual processor for visual store and auditory store then cognitive processors for long term memory and working memory to take decisions okay and then motor processor that's actually uh, uh, you can say uh, actions or operations after uh, this perceptual processor and cognitive processors okay so these motor processors like arms wrist fingers etc so human first uh, uh, see okay listen then it store in its memory uh, for temporary or long term okay then it's uh, use his uh, uh, arm and leg legs wrist fingers okay uh, as mechanical part to do some work so mhp the sub system is mhp are guided by the principal operations so 10 such principles are available okay and two of these principles are very important so first is the rationality principle and second one is problem space principle psp <coughs> so first we go for rationality principle so this is one of the uh, guiding principle of mhp okay the principle is based on the assumptions that we behave rationally rather than driven by emotions okay and it states that the human behavior is determined by a set of factors that include goals task and input and knowledge okay so already we know about goals task input and knowledge so i will not discuss here then problem space principle second one so this is the other guiding principles of mhp okay it states that any goal directed activity can be described in terms of a set of state of uh, knowledge okay so it represents the states of the you can see information okay and the operators for changing one state into another to perform some task and constraints uh, constraints on applying operators okay there are some limitations okay there are some decision uh, based uh, operators okay then control knowledge for deciding which operator to apply next so it is also uh, decision making process okay <coughs> then a little uh, one minute hmm then uh next uh, is a little on psp so let's understand psp with an example here so suppose a user uh, john wants to write a correct sentence with only available letters on the following interface so here you can see a, an sci app okay in java so there are some uh, characters okay so we have to write uh, correct sentence with only available letters here so there are delete option left okay backspace and write options then human cognitive behaviors assume to have some common properties okay first behave in a goal oriented manner okay so john ultimately wants to write a grammatically and semantically correct sentence then operates in a rich complex detail environment so there are many other things that john has to keep in his mind key positions key strokes okay so human mind is always thinking and always processing something okay uh, identifies the memories okay process it okay so uh, actually uh, human mind is always uh, running 24 hours okay only uh, rest for night okay during sleep time so like human here human cognitive behaviors assume to have some common properties like here use a uses a large amount of knowledge okay grammar rules spellings then behaves flexibly as a function of environment many complete any sentence uh, may complete any sentence uh, left behind okay then again uh, have some common properties like uh, behavior assume to be have uh, common properties like uses symbols and abstractions okay john will start thinking from a greater level of abstractions and then learn from environment and experience so it is most important part of human model okay as john start typing the he learns more about a available keys okay or he familiar with those keyboards or uh, keys strokes okay then john behavior can be described as a movement through problem space okay 
and in problem space there are various states and by taking an appropriate action goal directed and then john reaches a new state and this process repeats <coughs> until goal is achieved and uh, this movement uh, in the problem space is illustrated here you know, can see okay so first john sitting in a front of system okay want subject to be i okay then want subject to uh, be u then want subject to he so he goes for u so here you can see if he first presses uh, y okay then presses uh, v is pressed by mistake okay because he is not familiar with keyboard then it uh, drop idea of u goes for he okay so again this uh, taken decision here then again for wrong mistakes uh, or wrong uh, operation uh, process backspace okay to delete that uh, v okay then press left and then delete so uh, these operations are performed here okay so again uh, according to previous figure uh, was only a portion of the whole problem space for john okay so problem space is almost a finite automata with states and actions taken by john to change states is called operators okay so this definition is uh, definition of related to operators is important okay and more sophisticated representations will have features their values attached to each states okay and these features and their values will define whether the system has reached the final state okay so here you can see there, there are lots of uh, decisions and states okay uh, and after that it goes to final state okay then <coughs> according to example each state have two uh, features okay so f1 sentence uh, status okay f2 word etc features okay so when the feature corresponding to sentence status has a value equal to complete then we say that the goal is achieved okay so f1 is the important here so here, here you can see the states related to this f1 and f2 so s0 s0 state s01 state s2 state s3 state so f1 goes for v1 f2 goes for v1 uh, then in state s1 it changes so f1 goes for v1 then f2 goes for v2 then again in s2 the same uh, states repeated here s1 like here okay in case of uh, state s3 the fn goes for v5 and f2 goes for v3 okay so again <coughs> here you can see okay so the problem space is defined by a particular state of states and operators relative to a goal okay so john moves randomly in problem space and once features f1 gets the final desired value uh, like complete the goal is achieved okay so here you can see the mhp subsystem perceptual systems so responsible for transforming external environment into a form that cognitive system can process okay then composed of perceptual memory and processors so here you can see the first part is uh, eyes and ears okay perceptual processing and then uh, use uh, visual, uh, visual stores and auditory stores uh, these are the working memory okay so perceptual memory here uh, shortly after uh, after the onset of stimulus the representation of stimulus appears in perceptual memory and representation is physical non symbolic like example 7 is just the pattern not the recognized digit okay and as contents of perceptual memory are symbolically coded they are uh, passed to the working or short term memory then again the content of the perceptual memory gets decayed uh, over time okay we forget some uh, important or another uh, information related to some uh, task or work okay like that so it's decayed over time okay then typical uh, decay times like 200 ms for visual store and 1500 ms for auditory store because it's a continuous process to identify objects and listening then perceptual processor so perceptual processor uh, encodes information in the perceptual memory for about uh, 100 ms and then retrieves next stimulus so cycle time is similar to like 100 ms okay uh, simply milliseconds okay so processors cannot code all information before the next stimulus arrives okay so like type and order of coding are governed by the uh, gestalt's principles okay perceives Uh, perceive shape for atomic uh, atomic parts okay and then attentions 
to direct processing or filters information. So, again the factors governing the operation of perceptual processes shall be discussed uh, in uh, our next uh, coming slides okay, along with the remaining subsystem of MHP. So, we go for uh, the next part of this case study. So, next slide is here you can see. Okay. So, so already we learn about some basics of MHV okay, operators okay. and here we discussed uh, already we discussed about the component of uh, perceptual subsystem of MHP. Okay. So, here in this lecture we shall finish the discussion on the perceptual subsystem and learn about the other subsystems of MHP. So, first we repeat some details. Okay. So, we mentioned that the already uh, encoding for by the process, uh, perceptual processor is governed by the Gessart laws of perceptions. Okay. So, first we discuss this uh, laws. So, Gess uh, Gestalt uh, laws of perceptions. So, uh, organizing principles which enables us to perceive the per uh, pattern of stimuli as meaningful goals. Uh, are uh, defined here. So, proximity first okay, and similarity, closure, continuity and symmetry. So, we will see uh, these uh, uh, you can say patterns of similarity, uh, stimuli. Okay. So, we will see uh, more details about these five uh, topics proximity, similarity, closure and continuity and symmetry uh, related to our MHP. So, first proximity. So, elements close together tend to organize into units. Okay and the dots appears as groups rather than random cluster of elements. Okay. So, simply <coughs> it shows an area okay, proximity. Then similarity, so objects that are look alike tend to be grouped together. Okay. Again uh, it is related to classification okay. and there is a tendency for elements of the same shape or color to be seen as belonging together. Then closer. So, we prefer to see regular shapes inferring con uh, occlusions okay, to do so okay. and missing parts of the figures are filled into uh, complete it so that it appears as a complete circle. Okay. So, that is the closure and then continuity human sees lines as being continuous. Okay. It may be dotted, but it is uh, human things like uh, be, uh, the lines is continuous. Okay. So, stimulus appear to be made of two lines of dots okay, traveling each other uh, rather than a random set of dots. Then symmetry the last one the reason uh, bounded by symmetrical borders tend to be perceived as uh, coherent figures. Okay. So, here you can see different different figures, but they have symmetrical borders okay, or symmetrical shapes. Then principles of perceptual systems. So, there are two principles governed by working of the perceptual system. So, first is variable processor rate principles, processor cycle time varies inversely with stimulus intensity, brighter screen and need faster refresh rates. Then encoding specificity principles encoding at the time of perception impact uh, like A here uh, what and how information is stored and B. Uh, what retrieval cues are effective at retrieving the stored information. Then uh, next is the cognitive system. So, cognitive system in MHP is responsible for decision making that is the important part of uh, the MHP and cognitive system as well as for AI. Okay. So, in uh, it is a very important part cognitive system. So, it is a production system uh, comprising of a set of productions if then rules for taking decisions okay, and stored in memory like working memory plus long term memory okay, and the ru a rule interpretation engine cognitive processors to take decisions according to the conditions. So, in cognitive system it uses the content of uh, working memory and uh, long term memory to make decisions and scheduling actions with motor system. So, here you can see the pictorial representation of cognitive processors and composed of a processor and two memories here. <coughs> okay. 
so it holds working memory holds uh, intermediate products uh, of thinking and representations product uh, representation produced by perceptual systems okay like human uh, produce okay and uh, compri comprise of activated sections of ltm called chunks so a chunk is a hierarchical symbol structure okay so here uh, seven plus minus two chunks active at any given time okay so known as the seven plus minus two principle then uh, in me uh, working memory uh, contains gets uh, decayed okay over time and decay is caused by time about seven seconds for three chunks but high variance okay then interfere interference more difficult to recall an item if there are other similar items okay activated chunks in memory okay and discrimination principles so difficulty of retrieval uh, determined by candidates that exist in memory relative to ret retrieval queues and in case of long term memory holds mass of knowledge facts pro uh, procedures history and there are two types of uh, this uh, uh, decision making process so like conditions okay so first is procedural so if then rules applied okay for long term memory okay then declarative so facts are identified okay used for taking decisions okay and then declarative memory consists of a network of related chunks uh, where edges uh, edges in the network is an association or uh, simply semantic network so here you can see semantic network related to ltm long term memory so here are example related to animal dog sheep dog hound collie okay already we discussed this example earlier in our lectures so you can go and uh, watch those lectures okay or go to the resource for more detail about this example okay so uh, but uh, here i uh, show you some uh, short details so like uh, animals okay animals have breathes and moves okay so we identify so animals may be a dog okay so barks so it barks then it's a dog okay and uh, it has four legs so again it's make confusion for other animals but uh, there are also has tails okay so again it may be a sheep dog okay or it uh, again it's a part related to sheep dog coli okay and again the dog is related to hound okay beagles and snoopy okay uh, so there are different different uh, properties like tracks colors okay then uh, uh, you can say cart uh, characters okay again for sheep dog uh, work work sheep okay and then uh, simply uh, like shadow lacy okay so there are different different uh, okay again the mat size is uh, another property okay medium color okay so the animal have breathes and moves and but they have different different properties okay but we have to identify according to our memory long term memory so long term memory uh, again fast read and slow write okay and infinite storage capacity but you may forget because cannot find effective retrieval queues okay and then similar association to other chunks interfere uh, with the retrieval of target chunks okay discrimination principles okay then cognitive uh, processor for this uh, ltm and other uh, working memory so implement cognitions okay operation called cognitive production decision cycle okay a pattern matching uh, process so if is used for side test for a particular patterns in declarative memory and when if side matches then uh, then side is executed okay called rule firing so again cycle completes when no more firing is possible okay firing can activate motor components okay and action act okay then fire another rule for taking more decisions then change w working memory in declarative memory okay uh, helping in other uh, cycles then again uh, principle of recognizing act cycle so recognize acting uh, activate associatively linked chunks in ltm okay then act modify contents of working memory okay to take actions then cycle time is 70 milliseconds okay 
then again uncertainty uh, uncertainty principles okay decision time increase with the uncertainty okay similar uh, objects or similar uh, operations okay about the judgment uh, to take decisions and judgment to be made requires more cognitive cycles okay to take proper decision then variable rate principles so cycle time is shorter when greater efforts is induced uh, by increased task demand or information loads it also diminishes with practice okay then again power law of practice so tn here is the mathematical part related to this cognitive system principle so tn is equal to t uh, 1 into n to the power minus alpha so tn is the task uh, completion time at the nth trial and t1 is the task completion time in the first attempt and alpha is learning constant so mostly it's usually taken as point uh, 4 okay so translate thoughts into actions here you can see the complete uh, structure okay already we go for first perspe uh, perceptual processors then we go for cognitive processor and now the next last part is the motor system motor processor okay so translate thoughts into actions head neck and arm head finger actions okay to complete the task then a uh, motor system or motor processor controls movement of body movement composed of discrete micro movement micro movement lasts about 70 milliseconds cycle time of motor processor is about 70 milliseconds and then principle applied here is fitts law okay already we know about fitts law then all uh, we put all together here in here you can see in pictorial or in diagram here so cycle time start then 100 mm seconds for perceptual processor then 70 milliseconds for cognitive processor and at last 70 milliseconds for motor processor so overall the complete time is uh, or cycle time is perceive recognize act cycle is equal uh, or similar to 240 milliseconds and here is the summary related to principles so basics uh, basis of the model p0 recognize act cycle of cognitive processor then p8 rationality principle then p9 problem space principles okay so here are some uh, principles okay other seven principles uh, from the 10 principles okay so first these are the first three principles and then the three seven principles Uh, tend to describe ways of estimating duration of operators. So first, P1 variable perceptual processor rate. Then P2 encoding specificity principles. Then P3 discrimination principles. Then P4 variable cognitive processor rate principles. Okay. Then P5 Fitts law. Then P uh, P6 power law of practice. Okay. And then P7 uncertainty principles. Okay. So these are the complete ten principles of this MHP. So here is the example. Okay. So a user sits before a computer terminal. Whenever a symbol appears, or he she must uh, press, press the space bar. So what is the time between stimulus uh, and response? So TP. So perceive the symbol plus TC recognize the symbol plus TM press key is equal to 240 milliseconds. Okay, we already know. So TP is equal to perceptual cycle time, TC is equal to cognitive cycle time, TM motor cycle time. And again, the example two, two symbols appear on the computer terminal. Okay, so if a second symbol matches the first, the user presses Y and presses uh, N. Otherwise. according to the conditions okay if conditions and what is the time between the second uh, signal and response so tp plus 2c so compare uh, in uh, plus decide plus tm for motor processor is equal to 310 ms okay so here we completed our case study related to mh and these are the two examples okay so we have completed all the parts related to mhp okay so we have started here you can see again for some rise so we have started from perceptual processor then cognitive processor and at last we go for motor processor for completing the task okay so the lecture here completes for mhp okay so we will uh, stop here thank you